Hi guys, welcome back. It's Tracy with TR's Tarot Talk 1111. This is your weekly love vibe for the week of May the 20th through the... 20th through the 28th, I think. I really need to get my cal... I just moved here. Give me a break, okay? I do have a calendar that needs to be hung right there. But anyhow, it's from Monday to Monday, okay? This will be uploaded on Monday, although it's being recorded under the full moon in Scorpio. Today is Saturday, and it's, well, it technically is Sunday. It's late, 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 okay? But Spirit called me to do this daily, or weekly love vibe a little different this week. I'm using one tarot card is all. The rest are oracle cards because I want to look at what is the shared energy between Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine, Twin Flame Soulmate energy under the Scorpio Moon. I would really, I don't know why, but this is the way Spirit told me to do this reading. So we have one tarot card, which is a shared energy between both Masculine and Feminine for this week. And then I drew, I just got a bunch of my oracle decks shuffled and divinated choosing one card from one, two, three, four, five, six decks. And then we've got conversation cards, okay? The higher, higher self of divine masculine versus divine feminine. What would they say to each other in the 3D if they were in union, okay? So let's just take a moment. I want to do my intro and say, my name is Tracy. This is TR's Tarot Talk 1111. If you're new to my channel, thank you and welcome, welcome, welcome. I hope you find your soul tribe here. If you'd like to subscribe, the button is down below. Please click the subscription button and the wiggly bell will notify you of any upcoming videos that I post. Also, I am running a May special for private readings, and they can be done through Messenger, video chat, Skype, video chat, or I can record your own personal video and upload it to YouTube, giving you a private link that nobody else can view unless you share. Okay, and last but not least, a telephone call. I love to look at you and to get into your energy, but I can give just as good of a reading without it. So you choose which method works best for you, and if you would like a reading, they're linked below, and take advantage of this special. It's normally $40 for a half an hour. This is $30, you save 10 bucks, okay? And then it's a dollar a minute after that, so you can go as long as you want or as long as you can afford. Okay, so also there is a donation link below. If you feel that my readings and the energy that I'm giving to you is worthy and you would like to give a good karma donation, that link is below as well. Um, if you can't do any of that, just hold space, okay? Because this channel is growing and I know it's going to blossom, okay? I hope you want to be part of the tribe. Now we're going to crack open this reading. We have one tarot card. It is a shared combined energy for the masculine and feminine underneath this Scorpio moon. So let's take a look. Are you kidding? <laughs> I never look at these cards, guys. I swear I don't. I like to be just as surprised as you are. And quite frankly, I wouldn't have chose this one. But we have the tower here. The tower. This is the John Howland Psychic Tarot. And in this particular deck, this tower isn't really ready to fall yet. But I think, I think you're almost there. I think you're going to have something really epiphic happen during this full moon. Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine, I feel like you, most of you have known each other for a while and you've been in separation. And you're, you built this wobbly ass tower together years ago. And it's never truly fallen. I feel like there hasn't been closure. There's never been a beginning, a middle, and an ending. It's always just been like 
an open book waiting for somebody to write the ending. All right, and this has left both the masculine and feminine feeling very guarded over their heart chakra. But this tower hasn't been struck down, guys. Not yet. You might have an opportunity to make adjustments. Go back and make renovations, changes, growth. This can also be the crowning glory moment before it all comes crashing down around your feet. But I love the tower moments. They're, they're very uncomfortable and they're not always easy to go through. But when you get to the other side, it's almost like looking back, you're like, wow, that was tough, but man, was it necessary. And I'm so glad and grateful that it happened. For some of you guys, you're going to get some kind of an awakening during this full moon. There's light behind this tower. See that? I still think there's potential. I see the potential here. It's like, yeah. The tower is kind of askew. It's kind of all off kilter. It's not real balanced right now. But it has potential. And I'm not sure that this is going to come crashing down. I think this is up for renovation. Let's take a look at what your advice is for the week. You know, I'd really, really like to clarify that. My intention when I set this was that I was not going to do any other tarot but one card. But I'd like to. Well, Spirit says wait. Okay, because the advice cards might clarify it for us. If it doesn't, maybe we'll toss one at the end. Okay, but the general theme for the week under this Scorpio moon. Scorpio is about transformation. It's about death and resurrection. It's about destruction sometimes so that something better can come out. There's a lot of potential. I'm seeing the potential in this tower. So let's take a look at what the advice cards are. You know, what the oracles say, because I drew quite a few of them. And we may not need a clarifier on this tower. But let's just crack it open and see. We have the Gentle Gardener. This is nurturing energy, is what I feel, nurturing energy. Like, um, like the masculine and feminine planted seeds. But in this deck, it's not seeds, it's eggs. And they're hatching, and the, the little babies coming out of these eggs are little fairies. Up here, this is the gentle gardener. She's been caring and tending for these little ones, waiting for the potential. I'm hearing potential. Waiting for the potential. Twos are about choices, too. Balance. Choices, not balance. I'm hearing choices. Gentle gardener. I feel like this needs nurturing. This tower needs nurturing. It needs attention. It needs the gardener to show up and tend it, is what I'm hearing. Let's take a look. By the way, I did, I, I actually do have two tarot cards because I forgot I turned the deck over for the highest and best message. And it was the Nine of Swords, Suffering and Silence, right beneath it. Look at, I'm just wanting tarot. I don't know why, but I got the Destiny, Wheel of Fortune. So maybe the masculine and feminine have been worried, stressed. Thinking, you know, the Nine of Swords makes me think of codependence. Like, 
I don't know about you guys, but when I first woke up to the fact that I was a twin, that Nine of Swords was the roughest damn energy I've ever sat under. It's the why, when, how, whoa, really? Oh my God, now what do I do? Now what do I do? Now what do I do? It was crazy. It's like, you know, do I reach out? Do I, I don't know. It's just crazy energy, suffering in silence. It's not being able to sleep. It's not being able to, to, to take care of yourself because you're constantly in that energetic repeat mode of worry and stress. And it could be because your tower is wobbly. So the gentle gardener, I feel like it needs nurturing, attention. Perhaps your masculine hasn't been paying attention to you or you haven't been paying attention to them. But there is beautiful potential here in this garden and, believe it or not, in the tower. See, here's the potential for growth. There's 1111 on the video, just as I said that. And there's potential back here for this tower to get righted. It's not ready to come down yet. Okay, next we have the here and now. Don't look to the past and don't look to the future. Be in the now. Magic happens in the now, guys. It doesn't happen in the past and it doesn't happen in your future. When you're manifesting, it happens in the here and now. So being mindful, nurture, you need to be mindful. You need to take care of business is what I'm hearing. It's time for movement. It's time about, time about, why am I hearing time about? It's about time. It's about time, divine timing. Time, I'm hearing time. There's something about time. The here and now, don't look to the past, forgive the past, let go of the past. That could be your tower. The past didn't treat your tower well, okay? But there's potential here for, for these eggs. This is, this is, uh, fertility. Gentle gardener. Fertility. Potential. Here. Now. Now. Not yesterday. Not tomorrow. Now. I've been hearing the time is now. The time is now. Quit getting stuck in your thoughts. Release all that anguish. Get to your ten of swords. It's a painful place to be, but it's healing. It's a one. It takes you right into the new beginning. All right, the next card we have is it's not only about being right. Perhaps you guys have had arguments in the past or perhaps I feel like you're both being stubborn. You know, like one is refusing to contact the other because they think the other one should reach out first and then vice versa. So we have a Mexican standoff. And it's not only about being right. In all tests of character, when two viewpoints are pitted against each other in the final analysis, the thing that would strike you the most is not who was right or wrong, strong or weak, wise or foolish, but who went to the greater length in considering the other person's perspective. It's not only about being right, don't you agree? The universe... So we've got a wobbly tower. We've got stress and anguish. We have potential. We have fertility. We have new life in the here and now. And maybe one or both of you need to reach out to the other one. Or I'm hearing Mexican standoff. Like, I'm not. Mm, neither am I. Well, mm, mm. Then I guess this tower isn't going to get its renovation, is it? And these babies are not going to crack out of these shells. Because the time is now, the time is now. So, how do we fix in a divine union? 
the twin flame, the runner, the chaser, the soulmates, you know. What do we do in that dynamic? When we get stuck in that runner, chaser, or Mexican standoff, what is the best course of action to take? Nurture yourself first. Because sometimes... When you take care of yourself, your twin or your divine counterpart mirrors that. They mirror you. So nurture yourself first. Take care of yourself first. And in doing so, you will propel them forward on their path. Somebody's sitting, suffering in silence. If it's not both of you, it's at least one of you. I'm feeling masculine energy, but I'm also feeling feminine. I think you're both being stubborn. So do yourself. Nurture yourself. Be the gentle gardener. The seed has been planted within your soul a long time ago for this union. And I think spirit is gently being the gardener. You, divine masculine, divine feminine, you are the potential. You are the children. You are what's coming out of the egg. And it's not about who's right or wrong. It's about this is going to happen in divine timing. You can fix your tower or the divine will bring it down. What do we have next? Flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Okay. Maybe in the past the energies were really heavy between you and your counterpart. All right, and that could be why you're both being stubborn and you're, you know, I'm right, no, I'm right, no, I'm right. All right, but that that would be past energy, right? Right? In order to be right, somebody had to have done something in the past in order for it to need defending. So uh, that's your tower, is that whatever it is that you guys built together was not built on dirty ground, but it's not falling to the ground. It's not getting struck by the divine's hand just yet. I think um, spirit is giving you an opportunity to grow here, to nurture yourself, to be a gentle gardener for you. You know, don't get caught up in the past. Don't look to the future. Be in the now. Renovate. Fix this tower. Open your heart chakra. Nurture yourself. Flirt with each other. Lighten the energy. Don't suffer in silence. Reach out. There's a song there and I don't know it. Reach out. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -da. I don't know. I don't know the song. I've heard it on the radio, but I don't know it well enough to sing it. But it says, reach out. And I feel like for some of you, that's your obstacle, is not being willing to reach out. You're suffering in silence. And this is your destiny. you got to fix this tower. It has potential. You can fix it. You truly can. All right? But you got to forgive the past, and you can't plan out the future. you just got to be the gentle gardener. And water and care and tend to what you have created and watch it grow there's potential here guys no more mexican standoff nurture yourself first love yourself when you love yourself you set healthy boundaries and perhaps that's what's been lacking in this dynamic is healthy boundaries so lighten up reach out don't suffer in silence. Fix the past. Fix the mistakes. Be in the now. Forgive the past. Nurture what is becoming. And don't, don't pass judgment on each other. I'm right. No, I'm right. No, I'm right. You're wrong. No. No. Flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy. Have fun with it, guys. 
this might be a soul's contract, but there's nothing in the world that says you can't have a good time doing it. I like it. So what do we have less, left? Shower of abundance. To heal your financial situation, first give us your worries concerning money. We will guide you in order to show you how to create and accept abundance. As we work together, your financial situation will heal as fast as you will allow. And you know, I only know in my own experience that when I nurture myself first, when I can get out from underneath that Nine of Swords energy, when I can lighten up and flirt, and have light-hearted energy. You know, flirting doesn't have to be with your masculine or feminine. It could just simply be with life experiencing. This is your destiny. And when you start loving on yourself, then you get that shower of abundance. And for some of the twins and the soulmates, they've been, quite frankly, staying out of the out of union because they're worried about finances or they're worried about their abundance they're worried about you know equal give and take reciprocity you know in all of my old uh relationships including possibly this one there was no equal give and take that it was out of balance so when you balance that then the universe showers you with the abundance you get your finances figured out. You get your romance life figured out. You get, you know, your future planning starts to make more sense. You know, it starts within you. Fill your own cup. But let go of the past. Be in the now. Nurture. Fix. Renovate. This tower can be fixed, guys. Maybe this new moon energy is exactly what you need in order to illuminate or motivate. I'm hearing motivate. It's going to motivate you to get out of doubt, out of Mexican standoff. And when you can do this, when you can renovate and fix this, when you recognize that this is your destiny in the now, not the past, that person isn't that person anymore. The moment you look in your rearview mirror, everything changes. The past is no longer the same. It changes with every frame. So let go of the past, heal it, forgive it, forgive them, forgive yourself. The universe is wanting to give you a gift. This looks like a gift to me. And it is the picture that they chose for the overall deck. So it's the best one. You know, it's the one they chose. They're like, here, this is divine gifts. This is abundance showered upon you. But first, you've got to balance yourself. You've got to balance the relationship. You've got to unguard your heart, open your heart chakra, forgive, nurture, don't be stubborn. Don't worry. Get out of your head. Flirt with each other. Take care of yourself. And then you will get your shower of abundance. Not only in finances, but in your relationship as well. So what would the Divine Masculine like to say to the Divine Feminine during this full moon in Scorpio? Where are they at? In the 5D, this is the higher, higher self, guys. This is not in the 3D at the moment. This is how they would talk to one another in the 5D. So for the masculine, we have hold on tight and ride the cosmic wave of destiny. Yeah, It feels like the higher self of the masculine knows a little bit more than the lower self knows that there's something coming. Cosmic wave of destiny. Yeah, and the feminine has cycles end and begin. Because that's what cycles do. They go around, right? You step through a doorway, you're in a new realm, leaving the old behind. So the feminine recognizes that this is a karmic cycle that her and her masculine have been through, probably in many lifetimes. And the Wheel of Fortune is here. So karma is coming up for payment. 
repayment of karma. And it's in the upright. So all you got to do is work on this forgiveness. Work on this renovation. Work on yourself. Work on lighter energies. Nobody's right. Nobody's wrong. The past is gone. The present isn't here yet. Be in the now. What else does the masculine want to say? I'm putting out fires that you ignited. Wow, passion. Passion, guys. He's feeling passion for his feminine. Oh, feminine is saying, I have no choice. And I know what that's all about. Spirit just said, mm. the masculines are the ones who have the choice right now. They go back and forth, you know, because they mirror each other. But there are times when I do the readings and I see that it is the feminine who is choosing and who needs to choose. But I feel like the feminines have already done their choosing and now it's the masculine's turn. And I did, I did feel choices. Well, of course, you've got to choose. All of this is a choice. You don't have to do this. You don't have to honor your contract. You have free will. All right, but you've got to choose. Somebody needs to choose to reach out first, and I think it's the masculine, at least according to the feminine. She's saying, I have no choice because this choice is yours. I've made my choice. Now it's your turn. That's the energy I'm feeling. It's really stubborn. Really stubborn. But he's feeling good. He's like, hold on tight. Ride the cosmic wave of destiny. I'm putting out fires that you ignited, feminine. And she's saying cycles need to end and begin. Some of the masculines still have third-party situations. Some of the feminines may still have third-party situations. I like it. I feel like the masculine's ready. The time is now, the time is now, the time is now. But they're worried, they're stressed. In their head, how? How do I reach out? How do I gain forgiveness? How do I give forgiveness? After being so stubborn, how do I reach out without looking like a fool? What do I say? Why? Why haven't I contacted them? Why? It's like there's so many things that need to be said. There's so much conversation that needs to be had. And the feminine saying, it's not my choice now, it's yours. The masculine saying, I think he's ready. Hold on tight. I'm putting out fires that you ignited. Oh, you know what? I had this little mini download yesterday. I was hearing a song, and I feel like um, some of the masculines, if they're in a third-party situation, if they're married or living with somebody or have a significant other person, that's not working out in their life. I feel like some of some of the masculines have been discovered. Like the, the karmic knows about the twin or knows about the soulmate. And they got fired up hot and mad and there's been some fighting going on with it. I don't know why I, I felt that way, but that's that was for some of you. For some of you. The fire is the fact that somebody found out and now they're trying to put out fires <laughs> that you ignited by, by talking to you or texting you or, or spending time with you because they didn't clear their energy. So there are fires that were ignited that needed to be put out by family members perhaps too. Maybe their family doesn't like you or you, your family doesn't like them or whatever. That's another way this card can be read, and I feel like that does pertain to some of you. For others of you, it's just passion. You know, you wouldn't, uh, the situation wouldn't be here after all these years if it wasn't for the passion. Okay, so it feels like the choices, uh, the masculines as far as the feminine's concerned, but she's being stubborn. She's sitting, I see like Queen of Swords energy. It's like, mm-mm, nope, 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 nope. It's your choice, and you're going to have to make it, and you better choose wisely. <laughs>
I don't know. That's just what I feel, guys. So this has been your weekly love vibe, and I hope it resonated. I know it was a little different, a little weird, but um, it was the way I was called to do it by spirit under the full moon in Scar Scorpio. So this is all about um, the journey and having to balance. I don't think that this tower is going to come down, at least not if you do your work, okay? You're going to get a shower of abundance, lighten your energy, nurture yourself, forgive and forget. Somebody needs to be the first one to reach out, be the bigger person. Forgive the past. Don't plan the future. Just see where you are right now. All right. And be a gentle gardener. Be a gentle gardener. And nurture what you've created. Don't suffer in silence because this is your destiny. Hold on tight and ride the cosmic wave of destiny. I'm putting out fires that you ignited. She says cycles end and begin and she has no choice. It's all his. This has been your weekly love vibe, and I love you. You are my soul tribe. If you like the video, please hit the like button. If you know people on the journey, hit the share button. And know that I love you. And if you would like your own personal private reading, it's on sale. $10 discount, okay? Also, I charge $75 for an hour, and so with this deal, it's 60 bucks. So that's $15 savings. So if you want your own personal reading, um, I am here and willing and able. And I would love to meet you in video chat. And if not, then I can do your own video and upload it with a private link. Or we can do Skype or a phone call, however you want to do it. But if you need help underneath this full moon, because some of us are really affected by the full moon, don't hesitate to reach out. I'm here for you. Okay? I love you. Peace out.